genuinely cannot believe that I'm having to record this video. But you see that Premier League table there? Manchester United played six games, won five, drawn one, lost none, scored 17 goals. And I'm seeing negativity from Manchester United fans after that 1-0 gritty win at way at Southampton. What the fuck are you doing, Jose Mourinho? Why are you bringing Ander Herrera on? Why are you bringing Chris Smalling on instead of Anthony Martial? What are you doing, Mourinho? That is not the question. What the hell are you doing if you're trying to be negative about that 1-0 win from Manchester United? We've been blowing teams away this season. Four against Swansea, four against Burton, four against West Ham, four against Everton. That game against Southampton was not a game we were going to score four in. Clearly, as the game progressed, Southampton were a lot more dangerous than we thought they were going to be. They were putting pressure on us. Lukaku and Herrera both missed guilt-edged chances to put the game to bed. And because of that, Jose Mourinho brought Chris Smalling on. But that was not just the only reason he brought him on. Gabbiadini was brought on. Southampton went two up front. We were struggling versus one up front. And the reason this morning mainly came on is because, as a direct response to Gabbiadini coming on, Mourinho switched to three at the back and forced United into a five at the back with Young and Valencia. All season long, we've been seeing Martial and Rashford coming on for the last 10 minutes in games and blowing teams away. Today was not a game where that was going to be the case. And I just cannot, I cannot comprehend that there is any sort of negativity from Man United pushing out a 1-0 gritty win against Southampton when our backs were to the walls. Fergie made 1-0 wins his bread and butter. He loved a 1-0 win. And there's nothing better than winning when you're playing shit because Man United against Southampton, we played pretty shit. Especially in comparison to how we've been playing for the whole of the season. So for Man United to grind out that result, it's a different type of performance. It's a different type of game. You cannot always throw Anthony Martial on and try and go for that second goal. What would you have all said had he brought Martial on? And we conceded a late equaliser. You will be saying, oh, why didn't Mourinho just shore the defence up by bringing Smalling on instead? There's no need for any sort of negativity. And I can't believe I'm having to record this video and send this message out. It's not a rant. It, it, I suppose it is a rant. But I just cannot believe that there's any sort of negativity after one of our best starts to the Premier League season ever. Manchester United looking sure, looking strong, looking like a team and a unit. And that win against Southampton was the perfect example of that. Romelu Lukaku's goal gave us the win. Yes, it would have been nice to get that second or the third, but instead it was squeaky bum time. And Mourinho brought Smalling on, as I said, a direct response to Gabby Adini coming on the pitch. Yes, had we brought Martial on, we may have been able to get balls in over the top, but it would have left us more exposed at the back. And Mourinho, that is what Mourinho does. That's why Mourinho has won multiple Premier League titles. He knows how to grind games out. We've seen Man United playing the sexiest football this season. What we saw against Southampton was a battling 1-0 win. You're not going to win every single game 3-4-5-0. So get that out of your heads. If you're pissed off with 1-0 wins, I don't know what you're going to do if we end up losing 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. Because Man United will lose this season. This run we are doing is going to come with different types of performances. What we've seen against Southampton, for me is the sort of performance that shows me properly that this team has the backbone and the spine to mount a genuine Premier League title challenge. Because you can always sing when you're winning, but if you can win 1-0 when you're not playing that well, that's a real indicator that a team is ready to challenge for the league title. Now you may disagree with me here, maybe I'm going overboard, but I'm seeing a negativity and I have to respond to it because I think it's fucking outrageous. What do you think? Let me know in the comments as you always do. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. But United are second in the league on goal difference, only behind Man City after they pumped Crystal Palace 5-0. Hopefully we pump Crystal Palace next weekend. But no doubt, there'll be a few of you, if we win 1-0 against Crystal Palace, having a cheeky moan. Get in the seat. What are you doing?